Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast is sponsored by Integrated Ventures, Inc. Integrated Ventures, Inc. engages in digital currency mining operations, manufactures equipment, sells mining rigs, and develops blockchain software. Integrated Ventures, Inc. is traded on the OTC under the ticker symbol INTV. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 505 of the Crypto Corner Podcast. For news today, Bitcoin and major altcoins are plummeting before a stronger US dollar. BACT has entered an agreement for a New York Stock Exchange listing and future fintechs. MBTC allows for Bitcoin as an online payment. But just before we jump into today's show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And while you're at it, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Clean Tech and Climate Change podcast, as well as the Cannabis podcast, both of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. So Bitcoin, after having reached an all-time high of nearly $42,000 US on Friday, took a bearish turn. On Sunday, bringing it as low as about $32,600 earlier this morning. That's according to data from CoinMarketCap. This downturn has extended to the altcoin market as well, with recent gainers Ether and Bitcoin Cash down about 22% each in the past 24 hours, for instance. This, while not necessarily caused by, correlates with a U.S. dollar rally, according to an article from Business Insider today. While still up 89% over the past month, Bitcoin plunged as much as 21% over Sunday and Monday, its biggest two-day decline since March 2020. That article quotes strategists from banking and financial services multinational Rabobank, quote, the stronger dollar and higher bond yields has also sparked a plunge in Bitcoin and in gold prices this morning, end quote. Elsewhere, Cointelegraph chalks up some of this bearishness to, quote, over $2.7 billion worth of futures contracts being liquidated in the last 24 hours, end quote. That article warns that while this has created selling pressure, it has also encouraged whales, that's individuals or entities who hold large amounts of a given cryptocurrency, to buy the dip. Elias Simos, a protocol specialist at node infrastructure provider Bison Trails, is quoted in the article, quote, addresses with more than 1,000 Bitcoin continue growing at the expense of all others, even as this most recent downturn is taking effect. While you were selling, whales were gobbling up your Bitcoin, end quote. That same article continues, however, with an optimistic quote from analysts at on-chain analytics firm Glassnode who say, quote, while Bitcoin dipped in value today, on-chain fundamentals remain strong, pointing to a healthy network. Bitcoin mining difficulty and hash rate are all at all-time highs, end quote. Moving along, an announcement today reveals that BACT, the crypto platform launched by Intercontinental Exchange, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ICE, has entered into a definitive agreement for business combination that will result in BACT becoming a publicly traded company with an enterprise value of approximately $2.1 billion. The new company will be called BACT Holdings, Inc. and will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The company's newly appointed CEO, Gavin Michael, said, quote, The average consumer holds a wealth of digital assets but rarely tracks their value and lacks the tools to manage and utilize them. I'm excited to join the management team of a company at this important time in its expansion, whose vision is to bring trust and transparency to digital assets through innovation and technology and, through that process, unlock trillions of dollars currently held in customer and loyalty accounts and allow consumers to put them to work. End quote. Blockchain-based e-commerce business and fintech service provider Future Fintech Group, Inc., which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FTFT, has announced that its 60% owned subsidiary, DCON DigiPay Limited, has completed the upgrade of its MBTC system and technology, which can now be used by e-commerce platforms that plan to accept Bitcoin as a payment method. 
from consumers. Shen Chun Huang, that's the future fintech CEO, said, quote, A unique technology for MBTC solves the main issue with Bitcoin, which is that it is anonymous and not recoverable if lost or stolen. It also enables Bitcoin and blockchain technology to serve the consumer space. We expect this technology to be used not only for e-commerce platforms, but also for other payment systems that plan to use Bitcoin. Because our technology uses the shopper's legal name, it can also meet Know Your Customer and Anti-Money Laundry requirements. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Integrated Ventures, Inc. is a PR, news, and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.